my sponsor which is Fuchs Oils and Lubricants so they are the world's leading independent brand which manufactures oils for vehicles as well as lubricants for industrial sectors etc so you can check them out I put the link in the description for the website and the social media platforms yeah so Fuchs has a number of oils from high performance to your daily driving cars so they actually supply a number of the world's biggest manufacturers of cars such as VW, BMW, Honda, you name it they have it all so I put the oil selector in the comments so you click that link and you can actually check what oil is recommended for you Is it um, still the stock motor? 
definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. Definitely not. Um, it's a L16 plus wet. Yeah. Which is very high. No, yo. She can, she can drive. She can drive. Actually, we just at the moment we're just driving it in for now. Yeah. Um, so it can drive more. It's just limiting. It can drive more. I'm not gonna say any names, but 
Yeah. Just come to the line of the helmet once you don't recognize me. The stick. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Now when this car on the line is quick, no? That's quite, that's quite Especially with that, that tough hitting in the foot. So this one at the moment is open up. Open up. But you know it anyway, it's gonna throw you. Because usually it throws on the one wheel and not on the other wheel because it kicks out. Definitely, but the locked one now. And what now you're still with that one. It's gonna push you straight into the much immediately so you'll be in second. And this what this gearbox is quite difficult. No. I can you can you can you can have a go later. You can see if you can just give this to the box for us, yeah. Yeah, we go. We're not going to go on 
Come second or third, some guys. Yay! Funny show. But this one, you just pull straight down. There you go. It's taking a lot of focus here. The first and second is very. This car is not so good at the back, no? Nope. Must judge you. Yeah. That's the disadvantage of dialing the car probably, no? Not really though, if you have you a car for it. more than, you know, I got to think of yeah. 15 years now, so I know exactly how to put it into a gap. So this is not an issue. Yeah. It's just a quantum split. <laughs> oh! Quantum's. Yeah, fast, but it's quantum. Yeah, quantum's really scared. This car's not fast. I can show you a quantum faster. <laughs> yes, it actually has a mixture of a 4 AGE tone mixed with a Datsun motor. That is the Toyota front. <laughs> How is this? Uh, 20 wheel throttles? Yep. 23 wheels. 23 yeah. And then the trumpet size? 115 millimeters. Sure. That's why we get this low end top. Yeah. guys and I want to thank personally um, Williams Injury Builder Mr. Sherwood Williams thank you very much for all your engineering work and obviously Barry my custom graphics and a nice job eh? yeah he sure. took the bits and pieces for me and I really appreciate those guys work I must say attention to detail oh. I, 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 
don't worry, I, I do take a drink, so, you know. <laughs> yes. The feast of spirit. <laughs> there we go. It's a feast of causes, the feast of spirit. So, yeah. Um, basically, it's a L16 plus vet, like I've said so the whole morning. Um, it's a L18 crank. You got your L14 Conrad's and the SR20 piston. And um, cylinder head, full on valve job, bigger valves, um, 44.1 inlets, 8mm exhausts. Um, custom rocker, valve lash ratio into correlation with the S280 camshaft. Mm. There's a bullet in there. And nicely flowed. Many moons ago by FP Engineering and still that same cylinder is running. So I've got it for like 11 years already. Sure. But with the old school motors, they like to breathe, so need this mod. Eh? The bronze especially. Yeah. Yep. Opens um, the motor completely. Definitely, you need a nice big header. Um, it's a 50 mil header. Right up on from the cylinder, it's 450 mil down mm. into 63 right out at the back. So. That's big, huh? I had to. <laughs> <laughs> I had to because I was choking on the dyno. So, yeah. And then obviously, your dictator management system, it's got your 43 millimeter throttle bodies, it's got 115 millimeter ram tubes. Sure. So, yeah, it was told once upon a blue moon it cannot be done. <laughs> and, um, to run the Toyota throttles. Yeah. To run throttle bodies on mm. an old school engine like this. It was told to me that it could never be done, and I actually. When was this now? Many moon years ago. Oh. I'm running for mm. now with 12 years consistent. Yeah. And um, a good friend of mine, he bought me the intake. He, he basically introduced me to this whole setup. Is that basically well. an adapter plate that you have to create? It's a custom intake, no adapters. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. I can see where he has custom the injector bus so directly onto the intake yeah. manifold. So, yeah, that's about it. Obviously, cooling wise, it's just your. Normal old school Isuzu radiator with two fans on it. So yeah. And then the Pozo switch. Mm -hmm. Which is very common on the old Very also. common. You can even go buy it at ShopRite as well. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. But um, we don't really see this motors being built eh, in today's world. Um, so it's it's a nice thing to see and appreciate the build. Especially yeah. with this, this motor, the L16. Yeah, they say the Teltas motor was a knopkop. <laughs> and um, there's, there's very little of these yeah. LCD motors that has been bought now that I personally know of. Most of the guys were doing the swaps. You know, he saw the swap. He saw the swaps, he yeah, 18 swaps. Mm. And you know, each one to its own, and this yeah. is basically what I love. You can rev this thing to tomorrow, like nothing. It's obviously limiting now. <laughs> For now. <laughs> Even though it's set a limit. <laughs> yes, I can pay myself. We just told me I must pay myself to next year. So, yeah. Uh, and in Duff Wise gearbox, it's still the stock Duff stock gearbox. Um, Duff Wise, it's still the M68 mm. Duff. And gearbox wise, it's still the, the original Donkey gearbox mm. that it came out with one down. That keeps the power down to the ground and it's quite nippy. Ratio wise is a 3 9 ratio, but I do have a 4 11 that is locked up at home for, I don't know, all yeah. the racing days. <laughs> and then um, suspension? Suspension, uh, in front I've got uh, Skylight 2.8 struts, complete strut. Complete strut? With complete the, strut. With the whole suspension just, just itself. The itself? Okay, so you didn't have to change control arms? Nothing, nothing. it's completely bulky. Yeah. That and obviously with a coil up in front and the rear it's a custom um, yeah. for leaf springs. No blocks, it's just been brand new set of leaf springs at the back, just made. And they just lowered it for me sure. like this here. So I assume this, this is the coupe obviously, so it does see some of the Skyline parts or what? Or it's very interchangeable? Most of the Dutchons are yeah. very interchangeable, even the suspension parts. Up the rear suspension as well. No, no, there's uh, the independent yeah. suspension on the skyline, but okay. this is semi lifted leaves at the back. Um, most of the engine parts, uh, suspension parts, are quite interchangeable mm. for the big cars to the smaller cars. Sure. So, From that era? From that specific era. 
you didn't need to go and buy mm. specifically for that car. If you took a sample with and they say, yeah, man, yeah. the stanza one work here, or the use <laughs> one work here, or, but basically they made it so simplified that you didn't have to go out of the way to source your cars back in the day. You just slap on it. Yeah, I'm actually picturing an L2018 here. Ah, that'll be with throttles. <laughs> that'll be nice also. <laughs> I know that personally, you have a stupid nature. So it fits? No, no, no. Make Actually, it fit. Not in this specific one, but he has a styling with a 2.8. Yeah. And in three throttles. I was not gonna say it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Six of them. It, it screams. <laughs> it screams. And in interior wise. Uh, interior wise, it's still the old setup of yeah. uh, back in the day, which I still have. He's a bit of attention, but she's my baby. That shows the character. <laughs> so the only thing you upgraded was the steering wheel and steering the seats box, and the seats and obviously the cages my and my, over there. My little bit of sound. <laughs> Which you don't need. Oh, no, there's quite good music playing in the front, eh? <laughs> so, yeah. And in the paint zone? Done job, the paint job. paint job was done 12 years ago. Yeah, it's very nice condition still. Mm. So obviously, it's gonna start showing its flaws here and there, but it's an old car, so obviously, <laughs> and we're living in a, in a city where there's sea Salt and everything. Yeah, everywhere in the road. <laughs> and yeah, she does have us a little bit of last time we got done there. Yeah. But Some sneak peek there at the back of you. Yeah, That's part but, two. <laughs> but definitely in the new year, we will be having some decent upgrades on it. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, I have sourced a good couple of parts of it. Like the doors, vendors, bonnets. It's new doors. Available, Is that now? New doors. You must, you must bend over. Yeah. Yeah, you have to actually import it out of uh, New Zealand. Oh, is that the closest? It's not actually the closest, but you're gonna get the best out. Mm. Uh, yes. Like we said, that's not a very common car you see in Cape Town. No. So, Port is very rare. It's extremely scarce. Especially this, eh? Hey? Is this a complete tailgate here that no. comes? No, this is just a bezel. There's a whole okay. complete bezel that just bolts in at the back over here. Sure. Yeah. But this basically gives the look of the car, eh? There we go. Sits with the part. Oh, and in the front looks like a fair lady or similar. Sharp nose. Yeah. Um, you won't believe how the guys in Australia <laughs> and the US are actually targeting a person for this. The rear bezel, the yeah. lights, and the bonnet on the front end of because they want to convert this to the specific shape. They have not like a flat nose mm. in the front, and at the rear they also have a, it's like a one ton of slide at the back. <laughs> But they are really pushing the person on the side of the road.